my dear children in, in this second module we are going to study the role of ngos that is role of non government organizations consumer organizations play an important role in educating the consumers about their rights and providing protection to them these organizations can force the business firms to avoid malpractices and exploitation of consumers in india several consumer organizations and non government organizations have been set up for the protection and promotion of consumers interest now we are going to study the role of ngos or the role and functions of consumer organizations and ngos the first important function of ngo is educating the general public about the consumer rights by organizing training programs and seminars and workshops as we know the important rights of the consumers are right to choose right to be informed right to safety right to be heard right to seek redress and right to consumer education these are the important rights of the consumers then second important function of the ngos are publishing periodicals and other publications to impart the knowledge about the consumer problems legal reporting reliefs available and other matters of interest this means the main function or main duty of the ngo and ngos are to may, uh, to aware about the consumers about the various reliefs available to the consumers and what are the various uh, problems to know about the what are the various problems faced by the consumers etc then another important function is carrying out the comparative testing of consumer products in accredited laboratories to test the relative qualities of competing brands and publishing the test results for the benefit of the consumers then another important function of ngos is encouraging consumers to strongly protest and take an action against exploitative and unfair trade practices of the sellers then another important function of the ngos are providing legal assistance to consumers by way of providing aid legal advices etc in seeking legal remedy if there is any uh, consumer problems uh, the, these ngos provide full support to the consumers the next point is uh, filing or filing uh, complaints in appropriate consumer courts on behalf of the consumers these consumer organizations take initiative uh, to uh, file the complaints in the consumer courts another important function of ngos are taking an initiative in filing cases in consumer courts in the interest of the next important point is promoting consumers their general awareness of their rights and responsibilities of the consumer by educating them or educating him and supplying relevant information this organization supplies or provides various informations to the consumers to make aware about the rights and the responsibilities then another point is publishing general periodicals or uh, and product specific booklets pamphlets and other devices of mass communication for promoting consumer awarenesses then organizing various seminars workshops group discussions for promoting consumer awareness and then uh, organizing various campaigns for making consumer aware then establishing link with the educational institutions to emphasize the need for including consumer education in their curriculum then another point is uh, organizing a database and enabling the consumers to retrieve required information in a less expensive and quick way the last important function of the ngos or non government organization is that contacting the individual aggrieved consumers and making them aware of the actions to be taken to overcome their grievances these are the important uh, functions of ngos now i am going to give one example voice is a delhi based ngo uh, 
engaged in consumer protection by educating consumers. For this purpose, Voice undertakes the various activities. Their product testing for identifying product quality is one of these activities. During October 2010, it conducted various tests on fruits and vegetables at a government approved laboratory, Arbo Analytical Division. These tests have revealed that various fruits and vegetables have pesticides contents much higher than the permitted limited, about 750 times of European standards. Pesticides are used by the farmers to protect the crops from pests. Fruits and vegetables contain some pesticides residues. However, the maximum residue limit in India is much higher than European standard. Then some of the pesticides that have been found in fruits and vegetables are malathion, DDT, parathion methyl, etc. The affected vegetables are cauliflower, tomato, potato, spinach and ladies finger etc. These pesticides are quite harmful for human health. Voice has approached Food Safety and Standards Authority of India to revise Indian maximum residue limit of pesticides according to the standards of the European Union and to take suitable measures for protecting public health.